gon' get these drinks out here I got money so they put it in the bag I'm pulling off all the tags and pulling off in the jag Fuck being broke, it's broke, niggas is mad Get a job with your broke ass and get it out the hoes ass I go fast when I'm riding through the city lights I'm from the Bay West Coast with your city like New nights, fresh jeans and a snapback Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm a vibe, you a vibe, so we should vibe, so you should subscribe. Period. I don't know what day I'm posting this. I'm most likely posting this on Wednesday. If not Wednesday, I don't know. I got my glasses on because that's just the outfit of the day. That's just what I'm wearing. And these are my prescription sunglasses so I can see. So if I take them off, I can't see. And I don't feel like popping in my contacts. And I don't want to put on my regular glasses because this is going with the aesthetics so i'm sure whenever y'all seeing this y'all didn't seen a couple videos already either some vlogs get ready me or skincare i don't know what order i'm posting these things in i'm just filming editing posting for the month of april so things is just out of order but that's okay because it's my birthday month so that's my excuse when we hop back into May, everything gonna be back on schedule. Mini Monday, Tiffy Tuesday, Wasted Wednesdays, and then Thursday, Fridays is whatever. Okay. So I know I said I wasn't doing no story times, <laughs> but I miss it. And y'all been fucking with me. Y'all been showing me so much fucking love since I've been gone for this last week. So I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. Like they been showing out so your girl gotta come with a story time i do got me a little mini drink i'm already tipsy because i went and had a breakfast date with my son and i had a raspberry margarita and it got to grow right so this is gonna get me wasted so that's why i'm thinking i'm posting this on wasted wednesday so i don't know so i'm not gonna say y'all know what today is i don't <laughs> i don't know when i'm posting this but i am filming this on saturday april 8th i hope y'all liking this new this new hair okay y'all i haven't had a sew in in like seven years but okay anyway let's get into the story time so as y'all can see from the title which i don't know what i titled this i don't know if i titled this three dates in one night or i linked with my ex-friend or link with my ex-friend gone wrong or sneaky link gone wrong i don't know something y'all see the title um so let's just hop into it okay so like i said i'm trying my little calm voice uh you know storytelling all right y'all so let's just jump into this because my phone is running out of storage and i don't got time to be just rambling y'all see my face though it's getting a little slim because yeah i'm losing weight yeah i'm getting slim for the summer back to real slim shayla okay but i still want to be thick so slim thick shayla Okay, so y'all, I'm going to be telling y'all about the time where I linked with three dudes in one night and one was my ex-friend, one, one of my ex's friends. Okay, so I think I'm, so the third person, the last person I linked with, I think I named him Devin in another story time. I don't feel like going back and look. I'm going to go back and look. I'll do a voiceover to correct myself if it's wrong. And then yeah so he laughs but i just wanted to mention that devin was in another story time of mine about with cray cray so i'll do a voiceover explain a little bit more later and then i'll link the video where i briefly talked about devin before so this is gonna be how i first linked with devin okay so let's start with how all this even transpires so me and baby daddy had broke up this was like fresh this was like fresh before i start really talking to cray cray i think this was before i even start talking to cray cray so let's just say me and baby daddy which is i think i said i was naming him l we have broke up i have been single let's just say two three months it was okay like this is months, like summertime but... so i'm gonna okay. say like july august maybe even september october i don't know somewhere around that time like in the summer beginning of fall so i had just been talking to you know a bunch of different dudes on social media just because i'm just trying to like occupy my time mind y'all in between this time i was talking to toby but like as a friend but i don't know if i'm gonna get more into toby because i don't know we'll see we'll see but yeah so i was just talking to dudes on social media just trying to get my mind off baby daddy because i just wanted to get my mind off baby daddy now mind y'all i was over the situation with baby daddy i knew i wasn't getting back with him i just 
I was outside. Okay, I was grown. And this was my first time being grown single because mind y'all have been with baby daddy since I was like 17. Well, we wasn't really even, to, I'm gonna get into that later. But basically since like 17, I ain't been outside. So just imagine being, I think I was like 23, 24 single for the first time as an adult. I'm outside, <laughs> I'm outside, but I wasn't really even outside, but we're gonna get into it. So I'm just talking to dudes on social media so you know i'm just getting to know people people that's been trying to hit me i'm just finally hitting people back or whatever i'm messaging people back finally after like years so we're gonna start with link number one now y'all i had y'all <laughs> and if if any of them watching this and y'all recognize who y'all are look no hard feelings none of that i'm just telling my perspective it just is what it is it's like if you live you learn so the first dude i link with we gonna call him we gonna call him jerry so me and jerry had been talking jerry seemed like really cool i'm like all right let's link y'all know i told y'all i'm a let's link we can do the chat on the phone but i'm a like let's link i need to feel your vibe because i just hate texting niggas and i ain't link with you and i don't really know if i like you like i can like you through a text but when i link with you that will let me know if i should keep talking to you or not i don't let that talking on the phone texting go too far like, like, like let's link i need to see if i like you in person because if not you're wasting my time so i was telling him like okay let's link so this was a particular day where um my son was gonna be gone with either grandma or dad so i'm like okay i'm outside i got I'm free i got free time i can link so i had this lined up i had like a three hour window for each one and then Devin was last so Devin was just gonna get whatever i had last so these niggas had three three a three hour window that i had in my mind but <laughs> they didn't know this but i knew this so let's get back into what did i say i call him <laughs> i don't know y'all forgot boy number one so i'm like yeah let's link at this time he's like all right cool i don't live too far which he lived like 20 30 minutes and like i'm gonna pull up we have been talking he seemed cool like i really liked his vibe and i just wanted to see like was i gonna like it in person so he he texted me he like i'm on my way i give him the addy and y'all ladies don't let niggas pull up to your house unless you know them but these particular ones i had no issue with but i'm just saying i don't i was young i didn't know i was first single i was just like whatever but yeah so he texted me like what's the addy i'm like all right here the addy pull up he on his way he telling me he getting closer he asked me where to park I'm like, any open spot in my apartment that don't got like a shed or a number on it, you can park open. You can park whatever's open. You're like, all right, cool. So he pull up and I'm like, all right. So I meet him at the door. He come up the stairs. I'm telling him like, okay, this is me. I'm up here because y'all live upstairs. Sorry, excuse me. Sorry if y'all don't like me recording with the glasses, but I need to be able to see. <laughs> okay. I hate not seeing. But okay. So yeah, he gets to the door. I knew he wasn't going to be tall, but I didn't know he was going to be short. <laughs> if me and you're the same height, it's not going to work. If you like this much taller than me, we could work. But if you here with me, no, I'm sorry. I, I don't care. So he gets to the door and I'm seeing him and I'm just like looking at him eye to eye like, okay, you short. But I'm like, all right, whatever. He cute. He had dreads. I'm like, all right, let's see what the vibe like. He come in. Y'all, I already had like a movie list ready that I used to be ready to put on when like dudes I kicked it would come over. Because I knew they didn't watch these particular movies, but I knew they would be interested and they would like it. And they'd be like, oh, okay, you like different shit. So, um, I don't know what particular movie, but I either put on Transformers power ranger the the action movie or who was that movie called i don't know some action movie type thing so i'm i'm already ready with the ready movie we in the living room because i don't bring niggas into my room first 
so we just chilling in the living room i'm like okay i'm gonna put on a movie we talk and we getting to know each other he's like oh you cute i'm like okay you cute too like you know it's good to meet you in person we just make a small talk or whatever i put the movie on and we just chilling like y'all he trying to rub on my thigh i'm just like mm, eh, uh, eh. i had like on a dress i think i think i had a dress on or a skirt or like some biker shorts i can't remember those particular details but some along those lines so we just chilling i'm just we just having like small talks just getting to know each other i'm telling about me i'm not telling him about me and my baby daddy situation but he did ask i'm just telling him you know like i'm fresh out the relationship but not fresh fresh but you know it's been some time you know i'm just chilling you know getting to know people i'm not looking for nothing serious you know i'm just basically dating i'm telling him like i'm dating i'm not looking for nothing serious right now i just got out of a long relationship he's like oh, okay cool you know i ain't tripping like i'm feeling that i'm glad you're being honest about it and i'm like yeah you know i just I just want to, you know, meet new people and see see what the vibe like. So, y'all, he pull out the tree and whatever. He asked me, do I smoke? This is when I started to stop smoking. But I did still, ooh, but I did still smoke at this time. But I was, like, slowing down. So, he rolled up. We smoking in the living room. I hit it, like, once or twice, y'all, because so I get lit quick. We blowing down the house. We watching a movie. Everything going good. We boot up on the couch. Everything going cool. We not kissing or nothing like that. But we just like boot up on each other. Like, you know, just leaned up on each other. Hugged up on each other. Watching a movie. Talking. He like whispering in my ear. Y'all, that's my spot. So I be having to block my ear. Because niggas get to whisper in my ear. And I, I can't. I, no. Because yeah so i'm like i'm like boy back up back up like get out my ear get out my ear like calm down calm down watch the movie he like now nah, i'm feeling you like what's up like when you gonna be my girl and i'm just like hey i just was telling you like it's too soon like this is our first thing up like no like i'm just wanting to get to know you he like i know but i just really like you i really like your vibe you all look pretty you natural like i think i have like yeah i have like my natural hair no makeup none of that just like my glasses on or something because that's usually how i am most of the time i don't wear makeup like that i might throw on my lashes here and there but most of the time i'm just in my glasses regular face with lip gloss on so it was just like i really like that about you like that's so rare these days where girls just natural and you know whatever i'm like yeah i know hmm, just eating the shit up y'all i'm loving i'm just eating that shit up i'm like um mm, thank you thank you thank you you're so nice oh my god you're so cute i like your dreads and mm, eyes the motherfucking kite so we watched the movie we went into the movie we just booed up and then y'all he asked me if i knew how to roll now i did know how to roll but up until this time i never had to roll a backwood i know i know I had only been rolling like blunt wraps or like swishers and stuff up until this time or I was like smoking the pen. So when he pulled out, I was like, yeah, I know how to roll. He pulled out a backwood and I'm like, oh, I ain't never rolled one of these, but I didn't want to tell him that because I wanted to seem like a cool ass bitch. So I'm like, I got it. I got it. So he gave me like hella weed to put up in this shit. He was like, break all that shit down and put that in there. I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm nervous. My heart is like thumping. Ooh. My bad, y'all. My heart is like thumping out of my chest because I'm like, oh my God, I'm about to fuck this nigga shit up. Because <laughs> I don't know how to roll a backwood. But I know how to roll, but I don't know how to roll a backwood. So I'm about to have to finesse this shit as best as I can. But I didn't want to seem like a lame because I already told him I didn't know how to roll, which I did know how to roll, but I didn't want to tell him I didn't know how to roll backwards. I don't know. So I'm breaking it down on a piece of paper or whatever. And he just looking at me. He's just like, oh, you look so sexy breaking up weed down. I'm like, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I'm just eating it up, y'all. At this point in time, like, I was just loving niggas complimenting me. It was just like, mm, yes, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. I was loving it. So, uh, like I said, I'm breaking it down or whatever. And he had opened the backwood and gutted it. So, all I needed to do was just, like, roll it up. So, I'm breaking down the stuff and then i'm putting it into the backwood and now at this point i'm just like bitch you don't know what the fuck you doing with this like i know how to roll but like i don't know what i'm doing with this like oh my god what the fuck this nigga shit up he got to be like bitch why did you lie <laughs> so i'm just like i'm a finesse queen so i'm just like we just got to finesse this as best as we can so i'm putting the stuff in the um 
in the backwood or whatever and i'm thinking you needed to have it loose i don't know why my mind so i'm like trying to spread the weed out as far as possible i don't know why i was trying to do that i don't know y'all don't don't ask me i don't know so i put the weed in there it's hella weed he gave me like hella weed to put in there but i'm trying to like space it out and then i'm just like damn he gave me too much weed but really wasn't it was just enough but i just didn't know you're supposed to stuff all that shit together at that time i know now but at the time i did not know so he just into the movie talking to me or whatever he's not really paying attention to what i'm doing because i'm trying to like hide it off kind of almost to the side like don't look at what i'm doing because like, i don't know what i'm doing but i do know what i'm doing but i don't know what i'm doing but i don't want him to know like <laughs> okay so then it's time to like you know tuck and roll so i'm just like struggling with that shit. i'm trying to like you know take it like mm, mm, mm. As best as I can. And it was just so loose. And it just felt so fucking loose. Like it didn't feel right. And I'm just like, oh my fucking God. It was just taking me a minute. He was like, you good? And I'm like, I'm cool. He was like, you need help? I thought you knew how to roll. I'm like, I do. Like, it's just been a minute. Like, just chill. Like, it's just been a minute. So I finished rolling it up. And it was loose as the fuck, y'all. So um, I spark it up. And like he it, you could just tell i didn't know what the fuck i was doing and then i passed it to him the shit was falling the weed was falling out it was not staying lit he was just like uh he was just like you didn't know how to roll why you didn't tell me i'm like i do i was just like i just never rolled a back wood before like don't judge me he was just like girl you fine little mama you should have just said that and i'm like i i just didn't want to tell you but i do know how to roll i just don't know how to roll backwards and he was like you should have just told me i could have showed you you know i could teach you a few things ah i was like oh okay like my bad but he like fixed it up we smoked we lit so now i'm just like linked on him because i i am high it's a motherfucker so i'm gonna climb nine thousand because we just blew down the house because we smoked one already and now we smoking another one and then he was already rolling another one so i'm just like oh my fucking god so I'm just leaning on him high as a fucking kite on cloud nine fucking thousand. So I'm just like, oh my God, like you hella cool. We just flirting and shit. Everything going cool. Like we watching a movie and he's just like, man, like I really fuck with you. Like I hope we can kick it again. Like I love your vibe, y'all. He's just like, he not rubbing on me, but he's just like massaging my shoulders and shit. He was just like, yeah, you need to fuck with a nigga like me. Like I get money. I sell tree. I do this. I do that. I got my own spot. I got a car yada 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 you know you know how people is just boosting themselves up and i was like okay okay cool but y'all at some point i noticed he had little ass hands like i don't know if y'all could tell but for a short girl small person i kind of have like medium big hands like i don't have tiny girl hands you probably can't tell like this but I do not have small hands. So he had like grabbed my hand to hold my hand and I noticed my hand was bigger than his. And at that point I was turned off. Everything was going cool at first. I was ignoring the height, but when I noticed his hands was smaller than mine, I don't know what the fuck, but like the switch just clicked on and I was like, I don't like this nigga. Your time is up. Your time is done. Like the day, the, 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 your three hours ended early. You're up, you're done. Next. <laughs> so i was just telling him like y'all i lied and i know it's not good to lie but i did i was just like oh shit like um i gotta pick up my son like and i know you shouldn't lie on y'all kids y'all please don't fucking judge me <laughs> please i don't know i just needed to make something up to get this nigga going asap because your hands are smaller than mine's I can't do shit with you. You already the same height as me and your hands smaller than mine. And you already a small nigga. I'm a small bitch. Like two small people. I'm just not one of them. I can't do it. I can't do it. Like some people can do that shit. It's not me. I need to look up to my nigga. Hmm. What's up? Hands need to be bigger than mine. Like I need to be able to look up at you. Even if it's just a little bit of look up. I need to be able to look up at you. I'm like 5152. So... <laughs> You feel me? If you at that level, no. You got to be at least like 5'4". I need to be able to look up a little bit at you. Your hands need to be bigger than mine. So I made up some lie. I don't even know if it was a sun lie. I was just like, oh, you know, 
like i'm gonna catch you next time i'm gonna catch you next time so we hug you know he hugged me like hella long and shit like trying to rub on me he tried to like grab my booty but i like lift his hands up like above you know like on the hips on the side like above and i was just like you know i had a good time i can't wait to kick it with you again like i really liked your vibe that was the last time i kicked it with that nigga that was it hand small you small that's done so after he left i text the next nigga who wanted to kick it which was my ex's friend now this particular ex this was my ex kevin's friend and kevin was the one i'm gonna link the videos that he was in or do a voiceover because i can't think right now because i'm tipsy well shit i'm really wasted at this point but my ex kevin it's one of his friends and this particular friend of his been trying to get at me since me and kevin was together he been 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 trying to get at me and all kevin's friends would try to get at me and try to take me for kevin because they couldn't understand why i was with kevin and not them but exactly why i'm with kevin and not y'all because y'all some thirsty ass niggas and y'all trying to backdoor y'all mans like hmm why would i fuck with you so let me get into him we gonna call him extra <sighs> okay let's get into extra now i gotta give y'all backstory on extra so like i said this was one of my ex's friends extra and that was my ex kevin so after me and kevin broke up years past you know i was with my son's dad or whatever he had been trying to talk to me over the years i would kind of chitter chat with him here and there when me and my ex when me and my baby daddy would break up and you know he would just tell me how he wanted me now at this particular time i think he had one or two kids already mind you he like a year or two younger than me so i always kind of looked at it like mm, i don't know like i'm a one kid one kid cool two three um looking at you like mm, i don't know because i don't like all that one kid cool no kids best more than one i don't know so i had kind of just been talking to him but not like really talking to him i just been like hey what's up how you been yada 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 fake acting like i'm gonna kick it with him here and there whatever so this particular day like i said i had i was just like fuck it like you want to link up he was like yeah so he had like been on me tough 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 so i'm like fuck it let's link so i told him after um date number one left i text him i'm like hey so you coming through like pull up like like what's up he like yep i'm about to be here in like 15 20 minutes i'm like oh okay cool so i freshen up and i get the next movie i'm about to watch going and getting ready i think i had like a shot or two because i'm just like i know i'm gonna need a drink with this nigga because this nigga the shit he had already been saying like pressing my line i'm like i already know how this this gonna be this gonna be one of them ones so y'all he get here as soon as he get here he all on me he talking about like why you don't ever be hitting me back you be just leaving me on red ah, ah, ah. like i told him i was like well for one i was in a relationship like and you knew that you was trying to talk to me while i was in a relationship and you knew that for two he had been in a relationship at this particular time he was to me in my eyes he had just got off vacation with a bitch so i'm just like from my perspective you are in a relationship so i'm very much confused about what you're talking about sir because you look like you in a relationship you just came from out of country with a bitch and is this your mother's is this your kid's mother like i don't know but yeah, it looked like a family vacation he like nah i ain't even like that you know how niggas be just lying out their motherfucking teeth always trying to say something ain't like something but it really be like something it really be what it what you think it is it really be that yeah that so i'm just like yeah okay nigga whatever so we kicked in and like i said y'all he just instantly all on me and i'm just like chill out chill out y'all he trying to like grip all on me and touch all on me he was just like man i need you i need you like girl i motherfucking suck your toes and da -da -da -da. and i'm just like okay like okay like y'all like i was eating it but like baby baby babysitting because i was like real iffy about talking to him anyway because for one you are one of my ex's friends i already kind of felt funny about the situation but me and kevin dated like in high school so it wasn't like whatever whatever so we just chill on the couch i'm just like boy like chill out y'all he he leaning all on me and shit like trying to lay me down and i'm like pushing him mind y'all he a big nigga not like big as in like 
fat fat but he like a hefty nigga so i'm just like boy like you need to chill y'all he trying to kiss me i'm like dodging it and stuff i'm like no i am not kissing you like i don't even know you like that mind you in my in my eyes you basically in a relationship like i'm kicking it with you out the out the kindness of my fucking heart so you can fucking stop asking me to kick it with you and stop saying i'm playing like i'm gonna kick it with you feel your vibe see what's going on and whatever but he was just pressing the line too hard. He was just like, nah, you need to be with me. I'm the nigga you need to be with. That I hate niggas like that. Don't tell me what I need. Don't tell me what I need to be. Don't tell me that I need to be with you. If I want to be with you and the vibe is right, it will happen. But like niggas be want to be with, I don't know what's up with these dudes in these last few years. But as soon as you meet them and they like you, they want to be in a relationship. And it's just like, I don't even know you like that yet. Like it's giving very much like no like calm down hold your horses sir we ain't even went on a real fucking date yet we just kicking it like chill the fuck out and at this particular time y'all i wasn't on that mindset where like you need to take me out first now you need to take me out first but now at that particular time i was just like nah let's just kick it and see where things go so he started kind of like getting aggressive and like grabbing on me and i'm just like bro like chill out like you're doing a little much i'm so i'm really small compared to this nigga he tall he hefty i'm small and i'm sure and this was before i got the weight that i got now so i was like really extra small i think i was maybe like 130 going on 140 at the time right now i'm like about 150 160 so i'm just like boy get your ass off me like you hecka bigger than me not calling him like that i'm just telling him like you hella bigger than me like boy calm down like you doing a bit much you're like nah because you need to be mine you need to fuck with me and i'm just like but you know at the same time you're my you're one of my ex's friends or ex-friend as you know at some point y'all was friends he was like man that's shit oh i don't really fuck with him like that no more like you need to be fucking with me you should have been fucking with me in the first place yada 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 and i'm just like boy like you got two kids already y'all he already had two kids and i'm just like what the fuck like <laughs> i don't know if i want to be in that situation like how is the relationship with you and your baby mama because i could have swore you was just on vacation with a bitch like is that the baby mama or not i don't remember he told me if that was the baby mama or not but it was a family vacation because the kids was there as well so i'm guessing that's the baby that was the baby mama or i don't know if all three of his kids are about the same woman i don't know i didn't even get that far with him because i really didn't want to know that so he just kind of really started doing too much like you blowing my fucking you blowing my buzz for one I, like i said i had took a couple shots i was lit from the first day like you blowing my shit like you just you just like doing too much like we didn't even watch none of the movie because this nigga was just on me so thick and i'm trying to just tell this nigga like back the fuck up like do not try to kiss me the first time we link if i'm not giving you them fucking vibes like you're gonna know if i'm getting, like if i'm giving you them like <laughs> like if i'm not doing all of that flirting and shit i don't want to kiss for sure like back your ass up like i don't like no <sighs> y'all it was getting so fucking exhausting like me just i'm just like bro chill out like can we just watch the movie a little bit you're like all right shayla all right all right all right all right so we watching the movie we chilling and i'm kind of like linked up on him this nigga tried to like cuff and you know cuff and grab my you know my lady parts and i'm just like whoa <laughs> whoa sir calm down like we not even there he was just like i just want you so bad like just take your clothes off just take your clothes off i'm like bro no none of that is going down i'm like chill out like i'm just like if you're gonna keep this <laughs> you got to leave i'm like bro just chill like we just getting to really know each other like just because i knew you through my ex and like we knew each other you don't know me now i'm a whole different person i'm a grown-ass woman we was in fucking middle school high school when you has kicked it with me and you knew me i am not her you're not finna just like i don't i don't know who you think i am but i'm big shayla <laughs> not the little one never been even though i'm little never been the little one the big one big dog out here like nigga what so i'm just like oh my god like you do it a lot but i'm trying to like play it cool and like laugh it off like in a flirty way i was just like boy stop i'm like boy stop stop come on like come on like we ain't even all there yet like come on like we let's just talk let's get to know each other so i'm like trying to ask him questions about him and his baby mama and he not really trying to answer the question so it's just like really fucking turning me off and then how he all up on me and shit it's just like getting on my nerves so after like an hour or two i was just over the situation i was just telling him like all right 
I made up another excuse and I was like, okay, you know what? It's time for you to go. Like you need to hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more, because this is not it. Like I should have never even kicked it with this nigga in the first place. This was like God telling me like, bitch, this is why, this is, why, why would you even do this? Now look, I'd have had to put this nigga in your face, to play in your face, to do all this shit to show you like, this ain't for you. Calm your ass down. You trying to kick with all these niggas in one night. Like you're doing too much. You hot, you hot. I get it. You single. You want to be outside. It's your first time being an adult. So you can really like kick it with niggas and have niggas come to your house. But this ain't it. This this is not. Calm your hot ass down. So I'm telling him like, okay, you know, it's time for you to go. He's just like, man, I'm not leaving. I'm like, what? What you mean? Like, no. Yes, you are. Like, it's time. It's, you're, it's time for you to go. Like, the night for me and you is over with. We'll kick it again in some other time. He's just like, no, like, I'm staying. I'm staying tonight. You need to let me stay tonight. I'm like, boy, no. I'm telling him, like, no, my son's coming home. Like, you you, you got to go. Like, I don't know. I don't know if that's what I said. And I know I shouldn't lie on my kid. That's terrible. But I, I think either he was coming home that night or something. I don't remember. But I don't even know if that's what I said. I don't know if I told him I had something else to do or whatever. But I I know I told him something like you got to ski down <laughs> like I need you going now you need to go I'm not fucking with you like that like you're a little bit too aggressive I hate a too aggressive nigga and I'm not giving off be aggressive to me if I give you them vibes you will know you will know I was not because I kept pushing this thing away if I really want you to be on me I'm gonna pull you on me or if you on me I'm gonna let you be on me period so <sighs> yeah so I get rid of him. He leave. He talking hella shit. But not like, like, oh, fuck you, bitch. He's just like, man, see, you fucking playing. Like, you want to fuck with these lame niggas, but you don't want to fuck with me. I, 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 I. And I'm just like, this is why I want to fuck with you. Look how you fucking acting. You be throwing a temper tantrum when you don't get your way with me. Like, I, like what the fuck? Like, nigga, calm down. And at the end, I'm going to go back and talk about him because he, he pops up a couple more times. I'm going to finish it off with him because I ain't going to ever talk about this nigga again. Okay, so boom, he finally leave after I had to like really force this thing out of my house because I'm just like, no. Then, I like I said, I think I named him Devin in the other story time. So here come Devin. Now, Devin. 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 <laughs> okay, so I hit up Devin. I'm like, hey, what's up? Like, you free? You, you trying to kick it tonight? He like, yeah, like, what's up? I'm about to pull up. I'm like, okay. He like, I'm be there in 10 minutes. I'm like, okay, cool. So again, I like, when I say freshen up, I just mean like, throw some gum or rinse my mouth. Uh, I think I took another shot. Um, sprayed some Febreze. You know, just made it fresh again. When I, I don't mean like freshen up, like I went and changed or did anything like that. But, um cool now i was really excited to kick it with devin because devin was the one i was really like interested in like yeah but i knew i wanted to kick it with devin last and uh y'all gonna y'all gonna see why so he like yeah i'm gonna be there in 10 minutes i'm like all right cool so devin pull up and he like i'm here where should i park i'm like you, you know same thing just park in any open space let me know i'll come outside boom so devin get here I meet him at the door. He come inside. Devin fine. Now, I don't know to some people. Maybe he not. But to me, Devin was fine. Ooh, Devin fine. Devin fine. So, yeah. So he get here. He fine. He tall. Like, he caramel. He just, he, he thick. He not big. But he like, yeah, he not skinny. <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah. So me and Devin get to chilling. Devin likes scary movies. He was like, put on a scary movie. So I put on, I don't even know, some scary movie. We watching a movie. We chilling. He like, you smoke. He he already has some roll. We smoking. We chilling. I, now at this point, I'm already on cloud 50,000. Because I didn't smoke. Took some shots. You feel me? So I'm feeling real nice. So me and Devin just chilling. We talking. I'm into Devin. Like, I'm all up on him. Like, I'm giving him them eyes. I'm just like, yes. I'm just like, wow. Like, yes. I'm like rubbing all on him. We just having a good time. We just talking. He's like, yeah, you know, I've been having my eyes on you. But I knew you was in a relationship. So that's why I ain't really tried to, you know. And then I just had a feeling you were single by the stuff you were saying and posting. Or whatever. I'm like, yeah, you know, <laughs> you know. I was just like, yeah, you know, like, you know, you, you got it going on. Like, he worked, he had his own place, he had a car, he had multiple cars. He had, like, he got shit going on for himself. So, I'm just like, yeah, I'm really into him. And he not thirsty. 
Like he wasn't being hella thirsty over me. Like I hate that. Don't be hella thirsty over me. Keep it cute. Cause I'ma keep it cute. Like when you do that, I just feel like you do that with air bitch you like. When you just overly thirsty on a bitch, I'm gonna automatically assume you just with that with everybody. And I don't like that. I don't like an everybody ass nigga. Like, no. I don't like a nigga. I'm like, okay, he fine, he know he him, and he exclusive. Like, that's what I like. So Devin had that aura. He had that aura. Like, I know I'm that nigga. <laughs> yeah, I ain't got to do too much. I was like, yeah, you don't because you got it. Like, he just had that real nigga vibe. Like, so, yeah, we just kicking it or whatever. Everything going good. We watching a scary movie. Y'all, I'm fake acting scared. Like, it's a little scary for, I don't, you know, like, oh, my God. Oh my god, oh my god, like, ooh, that's scary, that's scary. He's like, oh, he, he wrapped his arm around me. He's like, I got you, little boo. I, or what's she saying, babe? I don't know what he was saying. He's like, I got you, mom, I got you, mom. Like, come here, come here. I'm like, oh my god, this movie's scary. I'm like, oh my god, because I made it like real fucking dark in here. So, yeah, and he was just like, he was like, girl, it ain't even scary like that. I'm like, it's scary to me. How have you watch a scary movies like that, especially at night? You know, I'm trying to play it all cute and stuff. Yeah, so. I'm just boot up laying all on him. The day go, the night go good with Devin. Like, like an hour or two past, we watched the movie. We chopping it up. We having good conversation. Like he has intelligent conversation, but yeah, hood nigga conversation. Like he was like a little rapper and he rapped really good. Like it was just like perfect. So he was just like, he's so respectable for like after the movie ended, he was like, all right, well, I guess I'm gonna get up out of here or whatever. So he get up to like walk out and like, he's like almost halfway at the door. And I'm like, well, why are you leaving? <laughs> like, I'm like, no, like, <laughs> y'all don't judge me. I'm grown. I'm grown. Don't judge me. Now, if you're on the age, don't be don't in a, maybe, maybe Hey, I'm just I'm just telling y'all the real. I'm just telling y'all the real. So I'm like, where you going? Like, I'm ready for you to leave. He was like, oh, well, you know, I don't want to overstay my welcome. I'm like, nah, you good. So I pull him back to the couch. And when I tell y'all, he knew what time it was. <laughs> y'all, it went down. It went down. Don't judge me. Don't judge me don't judge me everything was protected or whatever but it definitely went down it went down and when i tell y'all yeah 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 like yeah <laughs> yeah and the night went excellent and then after that like you know he was just like i'm gonna go because I don't want you feeling like I'm some thirsty ass nigga. Da, 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 da. I was like, nah, you good, you good, you good. And I was just like, you know, like, I respect it. I feel it like, yeah. So, yeah, that was my man, my man. And then, you know, me and Devin talked for a, a minute after that. Like, we talked on and off again for like a year or two during the time I was talking to Cray Cray on and off. And I don't know, he's just so laid back. Um, and I got some more, I got like one or two more short times about Devin. He was just so laid back. Like, I didn't know if he was really like interested in me. And then I started acting weird to him. And then I'm gonna get into that. Like, I just, I just started doing too much. Like, y'all know how they be like, you get digmatized. I think I got a little digmatized. And that was like the first person I had, you know, relations with after leaving my son's dad after you know me, me and him have been broke up i'm gonna say like six months or more at the time so i ain't had been then and then uh, yeah and then we messed around a few times we, like i said we messed around on and off this was before i even met cray cray or anything like that so yeah but y'all y'all t t t now I know y'all know y'all seen me with a dude if y'all been watching since the beginning and that was my man but that's not my man because yeah it's just not so I am single and I've been single for like two three months and Devin has popped back up <laughs> T <laughs> 
And Devin was always the one I was like, damn, that's the one I got away. And he back. So this time I'm not going to act like a weirdo because I'm older now. I'm a mature now and I'm level headed and I know how to pace myself and not get too excited and jump into something all that good stuff so you know you grown you live and you learn like i don't judge nobody for messing with somebody on the first night if you grown do what you want to do live your life like i'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing or lie it is what it is and i'm putting myself out here on youtube so i'm gonna tell y'all the real i'm gonna tell y'all what y'all what i want y'all to know something that i ain't gonna say you know but what, what, it is what it is it is what it is like judge your mommy who got four baby daddies judge your daddy who got six baby mamas and 12 kids don't judge me i only got one so what's up and i'm 30 and look and yeah so yeah hmm judge your mommy <laughs> not shayla i'm just telling y'all it is what it is somebody might relate to the story and feel like okay it's you know it's not you know what i mean it's not it's not like you know what i mean i'm not just saying like go out and have just be best with anybody but if the vibe is right and you grown and you protected like i don't see nothing wrong with it but don't be just doing that every day every night well every nigga like no no and at that time he was the one and then he was the only one like i was only messing with talking to him after that so it was not like a one night stand i never heard from him like me and him talked like i said on and off again for like a year and i'm the one who kind of really like messed things up with me and him it was not him but you know we're gonna see how things go but yeah so let's rewind to date number two so after me and him kicked it like he was blowing me up trying to kick it again and i was kind of like fucking with it for a minute but like i said me and Devin, we clicked and i was like my man my man my man once i like one nigga that's it <laughs> the rest of y'all <laughs> i'm not a multiple nigga bitch once i have intercourse with someone that's it you the one that's it that's every other nigga like he irrelevant so i was kind of still like entertaining him but not like much but like he was just start doing too much like getting hella aggressive and like talking a little baby shit in my dms and shit like or when we was on the phone i'm just like you a little bit too much for me you're a little bit aggressive like two weeks later he on vacation again with another bitch two weeks after that i'm seeing congratulations all down his motherfucking profile he just had another baby and you thought i was gonna fuck with you you already had two kids now you got three a newborn? I'm not fucking with no nigga with a newborn. <laughs> no. You got a newborn? I ain't fucking with no nigga and his baby is not older than two. If you got a kid and that kid not older than two, keep it pushing. No. I don't give a shit if it was a one night stand, you got a bitch pregnant. Y'all gotta be in communication too much at that point in time and if you're not then i'm thinking you a deadbeat because it's just not for me it might be for some but it's not for me i just knew like when i seen that shit and i hit that nigga back i was like bro you you why you didn't tell me you had a baby on the way like what this is some shit you tell somebody immediately you got a baby on the way he was like oh i just didn't feel like that was relevant bitch it's hella fucking irrelevant I mean, relevant. It's the most irrelevant shit you could have told me. Because you could have told me that via text or on the phone. Nigga, you would have never ended up in my face. Period. 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 You lucky you ended up in my face. You was already my one of my ex's friends. Who have been trying to get at me for almost fucking 10 years. And you had two kids. And I think they was by different baby mamas. And you just had another baby. Which I think is from a whole other baby mama. I mean, you got three kids. Three baby mamas. And you thought I was going to take you serious. You trying to make me baby mama number four? That means you just fucking bitches wrong. Mind you, his kids is young. None of them was older than four. Maybe five. 
which means you just fucking every bitch you fucking i don't know and i'm just not saying every bitch but you fucking too many bitches to me raw in a short period of time if your oldest child is four and you just had a baby and you already got another baby all three of your kids are under four in four years you didn't fuck at least three bitches raw Sir, no. You need to be at the clinic. Maybe you are. Maybe you're not. I don't fucking know. But you're not getting with me. <laughs> and I'm so glad. Like, every time he tried to kiss me, I'm block, 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 block. Thought I was motherfucking Mary J or <laughs> Lil' Kim in that bitch. Like, nigga, back your ass up with your thirsty ass yeah but anyway so yeah and then after that like on and off again for like the last i would say what i was like 24 at that time and now i'm about to be 30 for like six years he on and off again he would try to talk to me i would dodge this nigga and then like most recently this year he hit me trying to talk to me again and i was just like like no like you got too many kids like yada 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 he started trying to type fake little shit in my dms and then i kind of like baby clap back and then the nigga blocked me and i'm just like good because you're exhausting you've been in my dm for almost fucking ten plus years damn near on baby number four five i don't know like come on give it up give it up sir give it up it's not gonna happen never and he think he got one up on me because he blocked me bitch i'm so glad you did please never unblock me because it can never be you and me ever never never could never could never and to follow up on date number one i talked to him a little bit after that like things went cool but like i said he had them little baby hands and after a while i just stopped replying back to him um recently he been in my dms but unless your hands grew and you grew a little bit <laughs> it's a no like he cute he nice like but i'm not attracted to him like that and niggas don't be want to be your partner these days like so i don't have a place for you in my life so i'm not gonna respond <clears throat> but yeah y'all that's my little story time on how i had three dates in one night how i linked with my ex-friend how i <laughs> link with david <laughs> and yeah and yeah the one that got away and little baby hands and yeah but i ain't never tried that shit again in my life y'all after that day i realized like bitch that's some hot shit like you're doing a lot don't do that shit i ain't never did that again y'all i was just fresh single i was just so excited to be single you know i was at home by myself i was just like oh it's up it's up i'm living my best life and yeah yeah i would highly recommend if you single but then i would highly recommend not to link with multiple people at your house link with them at their house or go on dates or i don't know but i learned my lesson that was like the only time i did that and i didn't give them my apartment number I just gave them the address. So each apartment set in my apartments have an address. I didn't give them like my apartment address. I just gave them my street address and then I directed them to where I live. So if they still remember whatever, but I didn't give them my actual address and they never popped back up. Now, trust me, Cray Cray did, Pop Up did, Have I had anyone else pop up? Just into. Just cray cray. Pop up. And I'm gonna talk more about delusional in like a year. Like six months to a year. <clears throat> but for now, I'm not gonna get into delusional because yeah. But yeah, we'll get into delusional in and in, in some time. But just yeah. 
but yeah y'all it felt so good doing this story time um i'm about to wrap it up because um i dropped my car off to get the oil change and it was ready like literally after i dropped it off and came home they should have said it was gonna be ready soon i would have just stayed there i come all the way home and then as soon as i get here i use the bathroom they calling me like oh your car's ready i'm like bitch i just spent ten dollars on an uber and i got an uber bag but whatever so yeah but um i hope y'all in enjoying the content it's all over the place i'm so sorry i just don't drop in the video every day this week sorry if the editing ain't great i'm just throwing it together as best as i can and putting it out there for y'all just to have the content coming um i appreciate y'all so much i'm working on so many things i'm working on my drink menu i'm working on my drink website um next weekend i'm gonna really show y'all some behind the scenes on that i'm really trying to work how i'm gonna fit making press on nails <clears throat> in there i might take one or two people a month for now until i can make more time so i'm working on that so i'm working on those two businesses also going to actual work i have a son just so many things i'm working on but i'm gonna get it all done like i don't need sleep i can sleep when i'm dead i can sleep when i'm rich i can sleep when my goals are met so it is what it is but i'm gonna st i'm gonna show y'all some behind the scenes of how i'm working on those two projects and yeah y'all getting the vlogs y'all getting the skincare y'all getting the get ready with me y'all getting a little story time i do have some dates <coughs> might show a little bit of that not then but you know y'all gonna see whatever i post y'all gonna see and then my birthday weekend i'm supposed to be going to a pool party that saturday if i don't go to the pool party i'm just gonna go out to the club with my friends sunday i don't know what i'm doing i might just go to my little jacuzzi spot and just have some me time or you know might go on a little date or something somebody want to take me on a date on my actual birthday we're going to this spot this um mimosa spot and then after that i'm gonna go we're gonna get in the jacuzzi at my friend telly's house and just have some girl time and then that next day i'm off i'm hoping by then i can have some things ready i can like launch my website so you guys can start ordering drinks and if somebody wants their nails done i might have one or two maybe three slots open you know to do some custom press-ons and y'all don't i'm still a beginner i'm gonna post work that i can do and you guys if you want something done along those lines i will try my best if it's something that i know i absolutely cannot do i will tell you like girl i ain't there yet i can do something similar in my own way do you want that like you know what i mean so i'm not a super blown nail tech i'm still in the beginner stage okay so just bear with me when i do first launch like y'all gotta work with me i'm gonna do what i can do until i get better so i will let you know if you do book something or order something i'm like girl i just cannot do that you know i ain't gonna waste your time i will let you know so just be patient with me and thank you guys for supporting my channel um i don't think i'm gonna be at a thousand by my birthday but whether i do or don't i appreciate you guys so much i am doing a giveaway at 700 subscribers we are almost there so make sure you guys are commenting because everyone who leaves a comment i'm gonna put you guys on the spin the wheel spin the wheel and then whoever <clears throat> the wheel lands on that's who's gonna be my winner and you're gonna get a custom pair of nails and this time you're gonna get a custom pair of nails drinks that i make and something special i don't know yet you might get a free pair of custom slides or something because i got a bunch of like slides i can customize so we'll see but my 700 winner y'all gonna get some good stuff and then when i get to a thousand subscriber that winner y'all gonna get y'all gonna get some good stuff so make sure y'all subscribe and if you want to like comment and share subscribe and if you want to and my throat is <coughs> dry as the fucking desert and I need to go get my car and oh I'm gonna be carpet cleaning my floors and I might put that in a blog showing y'all like before and after I'm like kind of tiny redoing my house I'm gonna clean my carpets I'm gonna uh, put like a, a couch cover over my couch I'm gonna try to repaint some of the walls in my house just because I live in an older apartment and I want it to look a little newer fresher so I'm gonna try to like customize some stuff to make it look a little bit more modern in here 
because I just want a new look before I move. I'm trying to move by the end of the year, so we'll see how that go because my son's going to be in middle school so it's like the perfect time for me to move i always told myself i was going to move once my son got to middle school because i wanted him to finish elementary here because this elementary is literally 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 right across the street from the house so it's just convenient to just drop him off literally like two minutes away and then head to work so now that he's going to be in middle school next year i can finally move and you know so y'all just stay tuned with me y'all gonna be on this journey with me and Y'all comment down below. If y'all have YouTube channels, please comment down below. I love checking out y'all YouTube channel. I'll be looking at y'all stuff, watching y'all videos while I'm at work. So, yeah. Deuces. Y'all might get another story time. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But if not, y'all got this one for this week. And y'all might get another one next week. Okay? Deuces. Deuces.